Um, I thought it would have gave. We start. They started very well. I knew they were the strong, the powerful. They got technically some good players. Um, uh, nice coach, lads. Nice coaching staff as well. Um, and I just felt we had a game plan. We knew, we, you know, we break the game down. You know, it's not just we don't just come here and play. We have a game plan, and I thought the lads executed the game plan perfectly well. They perfectly well. We knew uh, if, if in the first 15, 20 minutes if we could keep it tight, um, chances would come, and they did. Um, but I, I felt as the game wore on, I could feel us either winning it comfortably or losing it. Because um, the game it opened up and it just went from one extreme to the other. You know, it was like you have attack, we'll have an attack. Um, but I was proud of the lads, absolutely proud of them. And, you know, I've, I've, I've repeated it previously. You know, the issues that we came into this game were uh, not ideal. Uh, but lads like Joel. Uh, and, and the rest of the lads have just shown fantastic character um, and we've played some good football and we've really come along as a team shown tremendous character, uh, mental toughness um, and I think we deserve to be in the final alongside another good side, South Africa. Thank you, Kush. The floor is now open. Kush, Vilela from the CBC. Um, as you went on and continued to be unlucky, hitting the post, um, chances saved, did you start to think maybe this might not be your day? And because also considering the fact that you only had a goalkeeper on the field. Yeah, we're not a goalkeeper. Uh, you know, I, I do believe, you know, luck is, is when uh, preparation meets opportunity. And um, you don't get lucky, you make your own lucky life. I've learned that. You know, I've been on the back, I've been on the end of some uh, penalty defeats. I think the most important thing from uh, from our point of view is that we kept on plugging away, we kept on persevering, um, creating chances. And I think the time to worry is when you don't create chances. And we like Joel said, you know, we've got a lot of young lads out there, 19, 20, 21. Um, and it's the first time a lot of them have been in a final in a situation like this. And it goes to show how far we've come, how far we've grown. Uh, I did say to the lads, I said, if there's a lesson to be learned, the lesson to be learned is from last year when we lost in the, in the semi-final in the 92nd minute. Um, and I said, let's not repeat that, let's learn from that. Um, and we have, you know, we've done it the hard way through penalties, but um, that's football. Next question. Uh, coach, just wanted to find out, maybe you can run me through. Despite you dominating the game and creating a lot of chances that you not convert. I wanted to find out on the substitution between uh, Kabeti and Tabang because Tabang uh, overrun for me controlled most of the and he made most of the runs and Okabeti made a lot of he could have converted scored two three four goals but you took Okabeti uh, Tabang out first before he so I just wanted to know why the changes taking out somebody who was making more of the runs than somebody who was missing. Perfectly honest with you, I thought we were going to do extra time. That's one of the reasons why. I thought we were off to extra time. And I, so I made substitutions just to freshen it up up front. I brought Joel in the midfield. And the old plan was to bring, uh, to move Joel, move Joel up front uh, and bring back, uh, bring Sosomi uh, in the midfield. Uh, we missed the same boat today, which was a big loss to us uh, with Red Armstrong. Um, but the other the, the reasons for making the substitution was, was to freshen it up. Sassini and Magantai are two very, very good players. And they'll, I've got no doubt they'll go on, you know, to a bigger and better league and do very well for, uh, well for themselves. All I do as national team coach is just give them a foundation, a platform to go on and show what they can do. And uh, on another day, we could have won that game two or three now. Um, um, Joe, um, I know you came with all these issues coming here, but um, you've been grinding results out. First, you beat Namibia on penalty and uh, you came again this time around you beat the DRS side that physically a lot of people would have thought would uh, dominate you uh, but uh, you dug in deep and, and, and you actually managed to come up with the result what, what does this victory mean to you as a player who was leading a young side like you say and what does it mean to the Watsonas back home? Yeah, what I can tell you is that I said it before uh, the press conference that we were here before I was I said this things have been happening back home uh, we sat down with the boys. I told them, listen, let's go there and play football. Let's leave all this shit that is happening in the home and come and play football. But some of the things that people are doing, they just want to uh, come in between us so that we, we don't be a team that can be divided. But I told them, listen, let's go there and play football. 
But I might then say, oh, let's leave them with their politics and come and play football. And I'm happy we are here, we are doing fresh air, we are playing good football, the boys are enjoying themselves. So we just have to play, we just going to play South Africa, we wish we win the game, we go back home. We're not going to talk to anyone when we get back home. We just keep quiet and look at them because we came there by ourselves, believing in ourselves that like people have been distracting us. The way we have been preparing, uh, okay, we're playing one of the games that we could have taken our country somewhere against the Ukraine. The preparation was something else. We couldn't believe. But we said, listen, let's go to Kosovo and play football and beat them. But it's football, we are here, we are one thing. Whatever is happening, whatever people are saying, as we are here, we're going to play football. Thank you, last question. Yes, um, Kush, an, an update on uh, Danvers injury and also um, this final being a meeting between two young sides. Um, do you think hunger will it be uh, hunger to achieve for those young sides will also make it more exciting? Yeah, I think I'm hungry, I was pleasant, but I think a lot of them come down to deciding who wants it most. Yeah, South Africa's got a young side, we've got a young side, they've got some good players, technically good players. I've watched them. Uh, I think it'll be a, a good weekend. Hopefully, there'll be a big crowd here. Uh, I hope they come in the numbers from South Africa and Botswana. Uh, but I just think it's a fitting final as well because, it's like Joel said, you know we, you know we could have been sat sat nine points when you know after beating Uganda, but we weren't. And we took, there's two ways we could have gone. We could have like thrown us toys out the pram and and cried and felt sorry for ourselves, but we did. We, we said, listen, you know we're going to come here. We're going to have a right go. Uh, we've got, a lot of new young players, we've got great, got good technical team, great bunch of lads. They're definitely going to go somewhere in the future, whether it's for me or somebody else. Uh, you know, and those people have been trying to sabotage us uh, for a long time. You know, I, I, and I said this recently. You know, the uh, the bitterness, the hate, is the jealous. Uh, what it does, it it actually feeds us, and it feeds us, and it makes us more more hungry. It it it, 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 it feeds that desire to go on and be successful. And, uh, and, and you know, let the politics, you know, be what it is. Uh, we're here to play football, and we'll get on with it, and we'll do our best. Thank you, Mr.